Kirk. Um, and uh, if anybody's interested in more detail, I have a PowerPoint presentation. I did a lot of basketball. Um, I love to work in patterns, both uh, natural and man-made. <coughs> so I created a whole series over several years of different basket weaves. Uh, earlier version looks like a quilt, and then I added some other elements like those red lines uh, to it. Um, also, a uh, discovery series, which is essentially working on two different levels. Uh, and there's a technique to reduce the background to another level, uh, consistent. And then you carve the upper level, and you do something to the bottom level, like piercing, and you've got this. Uh, these elements that work together to create a, a sense of mystery where one pattern is hidden under the other. <coughs> uh, another one by off-center indexing. I'm a big fan of using indexing as a design tool and I've come up with uh, different ways to do that. Uh, very simple. Uh, you don't have to buy any expensive equipment. Uh, I did a whole bunch on flowers, floral series, because my dad was an avid diver. And so, early version on the left, 1990, and a later version uh, with uh, flowers and vines. I sometimes just take uh, an abstract idea like a vine and a flower and come up with different ways to interpret uh, something out of it. Not necessarily realistic, but just. Uh, something that uh, uh, is expressive. Uh, also, I did some more realistic <coughs> pieces, uh, more or less as a tribute to my dad uh, when he was getting on in the later years. He was pretty happy to see these. Um, another one involving a lot of piercing with uh, daisies. Uh, another version of that, and some more designs. The one on the left that was influenced by Rene Lalique, who used a lot of leaf patterns in his glass work. And then integrating a floral pattern and a pierce pattern on the other two, um, just, just as an exploration uh, to see how well they worked out. Did some spindle work with seed pods. Uh, did a series called Leaf Form where 